When it comes to natural tourist attractions, you'd think the Gold Coast has it all. But despite all that sun, surf and sand, something's missing. So now there's a move to build what nature overlooked. You won't hear too many admit it, but the Gold Coast is just a tad envious of the Sunshine Coast, and this is why. The hulk of the former HMAS Brisbane has become a mega diving attraction. Well, look at Mooloola Bar, mate. 100,000 divers on the Brisbane. It should be the same on the Gold Coast. Bon voyage. The absence of a dive reef here is effectively the missing link in our tourism industry. If a dive reef could be added to everything else we have to offer, the tourism boost could be worth tens of millions every year. We can reach into Asia where, for example, Korea has 600,000 dedicated divers, not to mention Singapore, Hong Kong, China, Malaysia. The closest diving attraction is off the Tweed, but perhaps not for long. The newly formed Marine Recreation Association wants a reef less than 2 k's off the Gold Coast Seaway. There are great opportunities in these waters. That they are very productive. We have a lot of sunlight each year. There's a lot of nutrition in the water. There's a lot of current flow, and it's ideal. It all starts with sinking of a decommissioned warship like the Brisbane. But competition for them is fierce, and they don't come cheap. They need strong community support, at least $500,000 from the local community. The coast has just missed out on the former HMAS Ipswich, but another retired ship could be available within a year. Look, if we sunk an, an artificial reef off here, mate, if you stick the reef on the bottom, the life will come. We do them the right way, we get great results. No, there's just no doubt. Paul Burt, National 9 News. And uh, Paul's back a bit later on with uh, the beach out.